Good morning, folks. How y'all doing? Welcome to my garage. It's a mess. Next week, we're getting ready to head to Okeechobee. So people always ask me, you know, what do you do now that you're fishing tournaments and stuff? You know, how you getting ready? Well, first of all, folks, my garage is a mess the week before because I take and move everything around and get it all ready. And we're just going to go with the flow. I'm not going to sit and edit this. I'm just going to talk about stuff. We're going to upload it to YouTube. Talking about me personally, everybody may have a different thing. Okay, let's flip it around to the boat here. You got to get the country music going in the background or whatever type of music you like. All right, so here's the boat. I open all my compartments up. Uh, it's going to be a mess here in my garage. Um, you see, I tear everything out, every compartment, every little hole. Um, open up all my compartments here. I've already emptied these all out. Get all this uh, uh, dirt and everything, everything off the deck. The get hook magic baits right there, folks. Get hook magic baits. Skeeter. Okay, so once every, once I get this all tore down here, folks, uh, what I'm going to start doing is going through all my rods, and uh, uh, you get a little sneak peek of just a few of them there, right back there in the background behind me. I got three rod racks right back there, right over my shoulder there, uh, plus some on the wall. So, and then right back behind me, those other rods over there, those come out of the boat. So what I like to do, uh, let me first of all turn the compressor off. All right. All right, folks, like I say, this is just raw material. I don't sit here and, you know, like to go through and edit up all this cool stuff a lot of stuff, a lot of times, you know. We just sit here and talk raw footage and, and real life stuff, you know. That's what we're about here at Get Hook Magic Bait. Being real and just trying to give our advice. You know, we're not the, you know, Mr. Know-it-all out there. You guys know I, I, I make that clear, but what I do like to do because fishing is what I do seven days a week. Seven days a week, folks. Get Hook Magic Baits, FloridaBassCharter.com. I am a United States Coast Guard approved captain. I run Florida Bass Charter as well, as well as the owner of Get Hook Bait and Tackle here in Florida. So fishing is all I do, is all I know. I'm better I'm better at being a guide than anything else and, and the bait shop. But I fish FLW for fun. So what I like to do, folks, that's what we're talking about. Before I head out, I take everything out of my boat, and then I'm going to go through and see what I'm going to need. When I'm going to be traveling and stuff, you know, you don't want to be having all the extra weight on your boat and towing, and, you know, it's just going to be more gas mileage and stuff. So get yourself a checklist of everything, everything you're going to need, what kind of bait you're going to need, and then prepare to fish your style, okay? When you start, if you're going to get off track and think you're going to start fishing a, a different style, that, you, that you're not ready for, that you're not going to practice for, it's going to throw you off. And even if you go out there and you don't catch fish or whatever, it's not going to be... Um, I'm going to turn this radio down here so hopefully you guys can hear me. I got to have music when I'm uh, getting, in the, getting in the right frame of mind there, folks. That's what gets me going out here and stuff, you know, to get my mind right. Uh, get focused out here, get all these... Uh, checklist done and stuff but anyway um you go go fish your style you know and uh if you don't do good that's okay you know uh, a lot of these tournaments i hear a lot of guys talking about how they failed and you know they, they they feel they're not good enough and they they think that failure is uh not a good thing but let me tell you something and i always say this and i believe this from my heart failure is not a failure failure is an opportunity to learn just remember that you'll you'll go a long ways. Failure is an opportunity of something that you're going to learn. Okay? Don't forget that nobody is a failure in life. If you fall down, get right back and go, get right back up, folks, and go again. If you don't succeed, try and try again. And always, this this question is always asked to me, and I don't want to get too sidetracked here. Is what do you do to surround yourself? I just had this question twice asked me uh, asked me uh, when I was out on a charter. Um, they were filming a commercial, and they asked me a question. What do you tell people that are starting out, and people tell them they're not good enough? Well, first of all, this simple. Eliminate them people, folks. Surround yourself with positivity and get yourself out there and, and do you. You know, surround yourself with positivity and get yourself a little small group of people that, that believe in you. I will always believe in you. 
And if you ever need anything, you can come to me and ask me questions. I am right here for you. How I do things, what steps I've taken. I own three businesses, folks. And, and we are top rated in, in all three. And we got thousands and thousands of people that follow us all over all of our social media. Get Hook Magic Baits, Florida Bass Charter, and Get Hook Bait and Tackle. So there's a reason why. And there's a reason why we're, we're gaining hundreds and thousands every week. It's because this is what we do. We're very honest, and we're going to tell you the truth. And even if you come to my bait shop, we're going to put you there on great stuff at great prices and show you what you need and not beat around the bush. So I don't want to get too far off topic. Today, we're going to stick with back on track here, because I can talk for hours, folks, is about what I'm doing. So once I got the boat tore down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, take every fishing pole, and if it's not been used, I'll put it to the side. If I've been using it, I'm going to change out all my fishing line before a tournament. That's just me. All fishing line, all hooks. You don't want no problems out there. Once, you're, once you get that all aside, then you're going to go back through and say, okay, now everything is fresh. Which ones am I going to take? Go from there, load them up. Next thing, checklist. What do you need? You got your extension cord. You got your uh, tire jacks, all your safety stuff. Make yourself a list, folks, and go with that. Another thing that a lot of people do not do, and I highly recommend it always, and this should never even come out of your boat, because I do take everything out of my boat, but the one thing I always leave in there is my first aid kit. Make sure you got your first aid kit. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always, you know, cutting myself all around here and stuff. So it's good to have a first aid kit in there and uh, load up. Then, you know, on your checklist, whatever whatever you're going to need personally, it, your checklist might not be the same as mine. But it's best to have a checklist when you're going to go and, and head down for a tournament and pre-fish. Um, so go through your checklist. Make your checklist. For example, my checklist is, number one, take everything out of boat. Number two, check all my rods, reels, combos. If I need to lube them up, oil them, change the line, change the hook, change the baits. Okay, once I do that, I put them aside. Number three, uh, which rods am I going to take? Now that everything is fresh, which ones am I going to take? You know, and then put them aside. And then, you know, again, go back to the safety check. My, even though I leave my first aid kit on the boat, it's always on my safety list checklist. Go through and make sure you got everything, your keys, uh, anything that you're, anything you think you're going to need, just do that. Don't go above and beyond and, and worry about, you know, everything out of the ordinary that you don't think you're going to need and stuff. So, um, are you going to need a seat? Uh, you know, do you need gas in the boat? Go through, check this off, and you're going to have a much easier time when you do that. Once you do that, then at the bottom of your checklist, once you, you, you do that and you go to load your boat, you go, you go back to it. Okay, now I need to load the boat. What am I putting there? Rods, check. Life vests, check. Keys, check. Fishing line, check. Put all that on there, folks. This is just my little tip to, to help you, you know, organize and get prepared. Now, I know my garage is not organized. A week before uh, I'm getting ready to go out, I, like I said, I tear everything out. I move everything around in my garage, so it's a mess out here, folks. But we'll get it back to normal and get the get hook magic bait boat on the water. Thank you, guys. That's my little tips and tricks. Hopefully, it'll help you guys, you know. I appreciate you guys. Less Xboxes, more tackle boxes. Get the kids out fishing. And please, please like, follow, subscribe to all of our YouTube channels, our Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. We got a lot of good stuff coming. We're going to start uploading videos of pre-fishing, just little things of, of how to work baits and, and things that I do. Not necessarily is going to work for you. Or maybe you don't like it, but maybe you'll learn something. I'm always learning something all the time. After all my years, folks, of doing this seven days a week, you're always going to learn something out there. If you think, you, if you think you're going to know it all, then, then this is not going to be the business for you. Always keep an open mind. Listen to people. Talk to people. Be there for people. Love one another. Support each other. Let's build this industry together. Get hooked magic baits, folks. It's not just about the baits. It's about the magic, the magic in you. The magic in your life surround yourself with this magic and i'm always here for you guys if you need me okay less x boxes more tackle boxes thank you guys very much and until next time thanks